order to resolve the situation. Cumberland Colchester. Here, here. Mr. Speaker, I remember clearly in March 2020 making a pandemic plan for my regional hospital. At that time and ever since, this government has been too little, too late, or not at the right time. Canadians need hope for their futures. When, Mr. Speaker, is this Liberal government going to show leadership and give Canadians a much needed plan to learn to live with COVID-19? The Honourable Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, thank you to you and thank you to my colleague for raising that important question. We've been working together since March 2020 to fight the biggest, largest health crisis in 100 years in Canada. We've gone through that crisis successfully, certainly with respect to many other countries in the world, and that's because we have worked together, we have you know, helped each other, provinces and territories, the federal government, we have invested $8 out of 10 in total economic support, $63 billion of health and safety investments, in addition to all of the other investments that we've made for many years. For Cumberland Colchester. Mr. Speaker, most provincial medical officers of health have begun to speak of living with COVID, and even Health Canada's own Dr. Tam has said the virus will be endemic. Nova Scotia's Dr. Strang has spoken of initial steps needed to move forward. When will this government rely on science, not the spin doctors, and the advice of its own experts, and remove lockdowns, restrictions, and mandates? Give Canadians the date. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A very key, very key uh, signal, I should say, Mr. Speaker, to be against vaccination is to be in favor of lockdowns. The only way to fight lockdowns is to be in favor of vaccination. That's why, Mr. Speaker, I would again invite all the opposition members, including the new Conservative leader, to exert new leadership and ask all members of the Conservative Party to be vaccinated. That's the only way to avoid lockdowns. The Honourable Member for 